Unite our hearts and guide us all as we continue on the path of righteousness. May Allah SWT bless us all. From the different uh, groups around the country uh, the Allah Akbar Hey, move, you good, move? Put it up. Everybody push and step back. Everybody step back and step back. I got it. What's your fault? We got it over here. We got it. We got it. Step back, step back, step back. Step back. The beer! Oh, oh, the beer! 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 Oh, Sisters, again, please make your way to your vehicles. We don't want blocking traffic. Is out there. I know the parking lot is. in the community and I just want to say thank you for all of the support from everywhere overseas everything we appreciate it and it just speaks to who he was as a person everybody is doing their best to support us and and I like once again I cannot I cannot describe how it makes us feel knowing how many lives he touched and to the killer we'll find they'll find you I'm sure of it. That's it. But we are also simultaneously trying to make sense of the bigotry and hate that's targeting not just him, but many Muslims around New Jersey and around the country. We have no safety and no refuge within New Jersey right now, and we're looking for our law enforcement to help. We call on all law enforcement to thoroughly investigate this incident and to bring justice to Imam Sharif's loved ones and to the whole community at large. If anyone has any information pertaining to this incident, we urge you to report it immediately to the Newark tip lines and to care. Our pain will not be in vain. We will mourn our loss and emerge from this stronger and better because that's who we are as Muslims and we will not accept this as defeat. Personally, as someone who's lost over 15 people in Gaza, I stand here with Imam Sharif's family. The loss that, we're, that so many Muslims are experiencing from overseas cannot make its way to this side. We need to do better as a community. I pray that God heals our wounds and consoles our grief. May we see the day that Muslims 
and all people are no longer targets but instead safe at their homes, massages, and even on the street, at their schools and jobs. Amen. Indeed, this deeply troubled individual who killed our Imam did not just kill one person. He has killed someone who has filled the position of Imam or leader of his community, a husband, father, brother, and friend. So one who was an example for the youth in our community and who genuinely cared for all those around him. So one who laughed, whose laugh was loud and his spirit was light. Given the tenuous atmosphere and sharp rise in anti-Muslim bigotry and violence that we have seen over the last couple of months, this incident has left our community feeling very apprehensive and concerned. Our masjids are meant to be spaces of safety, like all religious spaces. And our Imam Sharif's murderer directly violated that space of safety and sanctity when he shot the Imam at the door of the masjid as he exited for 